Welcome back guys. Thai culture is strongest in the rural areas. It is steeped in tradition, heavily connected to Buddhist practice in a uniquely Thai way. Buddhism is practiced in many countries and each tends to be mixed with a, a lot of local custom and also traces of other ancient belief systems some mythical, some from periods of influence well, in Thailand, the Khmer invasion. Um, some, are, some influences are unclear in their origin. Their faith system is both religion and a way of life that promotes personal values and community solidarity. Thai community is the glue that, that holds their society together. It keeps people over the broad spectrum of the community connected and regularly interacting with each other. A lot of the, the Thai Buddhist culture is linked to rural or farming pastimes. There are auspicious days to both pray for things like you know a good harvest or adequate rain etc and then also days to give thanks for those same occurrences. There are days for more general calendar events also. There's Loi Kutong, the floating of flowers out across a local waterway or water body. Uh, Bun Bang Phai, which is linked to the harvest season also. Um, this is where it's traditionally known as the Thai Rocket Festival. Uh, and there's many, many more. There's you know the regular calendar events like Mother's Day or Father's Day. Uh, generally these are linked to the king and queen of the country but also their birthdays. Uh, there is Buddhist Lent where the monks remain in the temple for a period of months and then when they return into the community again is another day of celebration. Thai people love to celebrate life so any opportunity is welcome in their culture. If you visit or have course to live here for any period of time you will likely become involved in Thai people are happy and welcoming to have you join in. You don't have to be a convert to their faith. You just have to be just to be inclusive and to join them in their celebration. Have you walk with them in their parades or sit with them during their prayer sessions or chanting? As you can see there's Talani walking around this particular celebration. There's no pressure, um, no requirement to be or do or involve yourself sort of fully in their religion. The celebration is there. They're glad to have you. Very welcoming people. And it's probably true that not to set yourself aside from that. If you're going to be in their community, then they're, they're more than happy to have you involved in these celebrations. There's always the Thai boombox, the music during parades. Uh, traditionally in a lot of celebrations at temples, they can, they can be funerals, they can be special days, they can be days of observance. It's quite common to have a procession start outside the temple gates. It may be close or maybe a far distance a fair distance away and then the people will parade into the temple grounds and then they will do a parade around it in a circle around the main auspicious building they normally circle the building three times and it seems to be true of all of the different celebrations there's some significance to that I can't tell you what that is but uh, I think you'll see that it's true uh, Everybody's involved, everybody's coming together. Thai community is very, very strong. So I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a look into it. A bit of music in the background. You see the people parading and getting together. So the old chap there, he's my builder. <laughs> the guy in the blue shirt. <laughs> but uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Something a little bit different. As always, if you're interested in this kind of thing or the other projects and other daily life that we bring to, to video for you, hello Tamani, 
by all means please subscribe leave comments or questions down below and i will get to all those and answer always thanks guys bye